on the island. After cheating each other for eighteen years, this husband and this wife are trying to do something with the three days they still have left before they go back to the city. And after cheating the world for fifty years, these two old men touch the rosy skin under their white hair and try to remember the days of solid brass and real wood before the Jews came onto the island. They are worried about the trees in India and the corruption in the Boy Scouts and the climbing interest rate, but most of all they spend their time remembering the beach the way it was in the early thirties when all the big hotels here were shaped like Greek churches. Me, I think about salt, and how my life will one day be clean and simple, if only I can reduce it all to salt, how I will no longer lie down like a tired dog, whispering and sighing before I go to sleep, how I will be able to talk to someone without going from pure joy to silence, and touch someone without going from truth to concealment. Salt is the only thing that lasts on this island. It gets into the hair, into the eyes, into the clothes, into the wood, into the metal. Everything is going to disappear here but the salt. The flags will go, the piers, the gift shops, the golf courses, the clam bars, and the telephone poles, and the rows of houses, and the string of cars. I like to think of myself turned to salt, and all that I love turned to salt. I like to think of coating whatever is left with my own tongue and fingers. I like to think of floating again in my first home, still remembering the warm rock and its slow destruction, still remembering the first conversion to blood and the forcing of the sea into those cramped vessels.